guys, welcome to the channel again. Thailand Dreaming, love letters from retirement. So day seven uh, in Wapi Patom before I head off to Konkan. Uh, as you can see, right out in the country now, getting further and further into the rural area of uh, uh, Mahasarakam and Wapi Patom. Uh, really beautiful area, a little bit dry at the moment, the dry season, there's not too much rain there, so heading out to the farm, a few final clips from the farm, and then some everyday life of uh, students that uh, I shot one evening, and uh, yeah, so please enjoy the video, uh, enjoy coming along with me I love bringing you along with me on this journey it's been a fantastic journey really had a good time really enjoyed the bike on the on the roads on the really good roads and uh, yeah so don't forget to subscribe to the channel doesn't cost anything to subscribe uh, just click the button just a couple of seconds of your time and thanks to all those new subscribers I've got, really appreciated, really, really appreciated. And also those people that comment on the videos, I love to see your comments, love to hear some critique, love to uh, hear about what you'd like to see. And uh, let's go, here we go, back to the farm again. come back to the farm today because there's a newbie that I wanted to see just born last night it's okay baby it's okay hmm? my belay you give your baby a bath yeah hmm? Hmm? it's okay hmm? no problem no problem you see Mum's worried about the baby. She's worried about the camera. Yeah. So there you go, a new calf, just born last night. Mum's given her a little bath. Mmm. Mmm. Mm so, came to see the newbie, the new person on the farm. Very nice, Mama. Very nice. So there you go, farm life, real rural Thailand. Yeah, a new little calf. I'll see if I can get a better shot of it. Yeah, so uh, I've really enjoyed my time here. I'm just going to do a video on Wapi Patom and uh, the farm I went to and the family uh, that I know up here. And uh, yeah, I had a really interesting night last night. Um, my friend went to her daughter's dormitory to see, it's the first time she's ever been there since the daughter's been at university, to see she was studying and, and whatnot, just to check up, everything was all right. So that was a really interesting night. There's uh, a bunch of girls there. I think there's two or three of them, two, two stay in the room, but there was about one, two, three, four, five, six or seven of them there, all with their computers out on little desks, sitting around on the floor, drinking beer and studying, and uh, drinking energy drinks <laughs> and drinking beer because they stay up studying till sometimes five o'clock in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. So they're really trying hard and uh, that pleased the mother. To no end. Uh, 
I'm really happy to see, you know, that all her hard work, because she works really hard on the phone, really, really hard. She's up at uh, 4 o'clock every morning. She cooks breakfast and food for the day for her mum and her dad. The dad is 88, an amazing old man, and he works out on the farm still every day from dawn till dusk. Absolutely incredible. And uh, I was so pleased. Yesterday I bought some fruit trees just as a gift for their hospitality. And uh, late yesterday afternoon when I came back here and uh, checked in and got into my room and had a shower and everything, uh, my friend sent me some photos of Papa uh, digging these big holes to plant the trees. Dig the big holes and then fill them up with water and then it soaks the ground around the tree and then plant the trees tomorrow when the water's soaked into the ground. Yeah, but yeah, obviously he was really happy about it, so that made me really happy because he don't really like foreigners. He's never even been to Bangkok, this man. But it, I, I've never seen anyone work so hard and 88 years old strong still strong and working out in the hot sun all day every day the people here are amazing the people in rural thailand are absolutely incredible so anyway i'm here at this place it's in the middle of uh, nowhere basically i'm quite surprised but there's a few resorts up here but this was the only one i found on booking.com but the people here are really nice the proprietor uh, what is uh, a really intelligent man speaks incredible English the best English I've experienced uh, best English conversation I've experienced with a Thai person since I've been in Thailand uh, and uh, his wife really lovely people so I'm just sitting here having my morning coffee at the moment it's uh, just on dawn well sun's not up yet actually so if I just shut up for a little while, you can hear the only sounds. Oh, I can hear some cars over on the main road, but just sitting here earlier, all I could hear was the birds. And to greet me, just to show you, to greet me, those guys. Yeah? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pepsi. This is Pepsi. And that's Pepsi's son over there. Uh, Pung Kao socks because he was born with two white socks. Can you see him? Oh, there he is over there. Pung Kao. Pung Kao. Pung Kao. Yeah, so uh, there's a few guests here actually. But uh, yeah, a really nice place and I'm really happy to be here. And uh, beautiful, just sitting here this morning, you can hear the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pepsi's harassing me to give her a bit of a scratch under the ears. Yeah, so you can hear the birds. It's, it's just beautiful here. Birds, I can hear some roosters up in the distance. Rural Thailand, it's, it's just lovely. It really is fantastic. So I hope you enjoy the video when I get it edited and up onto YouTube because uh, I'll probably do one just on this region and what I've experienced since I've been here. It's really absolutely wonderful. So later today, uh, I'm off to Surin, another place I've never been to, and uh, Wat, the proprietor of uh, Wapipatum Earthen Village, has uh, given me a link to go and see uh, uh, an elephant park there where you can feed the elephants and play with the elephants and stuff like that. So I've been hanging out to see some elephants. The only elephants I've seen were in the back of the truck. And I didn't have the GoPro on the helmet. Just pulled up at the stoplights and there's a truck in front of me with two elephants in it. <laughs> Only in Thailand. Anyway, so I'll do a little bit of a walk around in here later on uh, so you can see what this place is like. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Pepsi. Wants you to scratch out of it behind the ears. Say goodbye, Pepsi. Say goodbye. Yeah? Say goodbye. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Bye for now. Life in Thailand is tough, really tough. And to get ahead, mothers and fathers work really hard. They buy these computers, they go without themselves, 
so that their kids can go to uni and study and hopefully make something better for themselves, a better life for themselves. These kids are all studying together. Some of them live together here. They stay up all night studying, sharing their ideas for the university class. They have a whole setup and computer network at home where they all study all night. They stay up all night, most of them, studying. Their social life consists of study, sure. Yeah. And they drink beer and they study while at the same time they're drinking beer, you know. And, and that's their social life. Their social life is studying together. And this is every night. Sometimes they don't even sleep. They stay together. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, just pooling, pooling information and helping each other study. It really is quite amazing to see. Uh, I'm stunned. I'm really stunned. And yet some of them will get a good job with really crappy pay. Some of them will get a good job with good pay. So, you know, this is uh, rural Thailand. The parents doing this stuff for their kids so that they can uh, have a better life while the parents are slaving away in the rice field to enable this. Really, really amazing if you know the true story of it. How hard the parents work uh, to enable their kids just to have a computer. Uh, they pay the rent, pay the rent here for them, pay for their school, pay for their computer, everything. And that's why they work so hard and have so little themselves so that they can make a better future for their children. Really is, and it, it's amazing for me to see the amount of effort these kids put in to uh, fulfilling what their parents' wishes are for them. Really is incredible.